Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After enabling the 3D Maps add-in in Excel, you can then create a new tour in 3D Maps. To create a new 3D Maps tour, click the Insert tab within the ribbon. Then either directly click the 3D Maps button in the Tours button group or click the drop-down part of the button and select the Open 3D Maps command from the drop-down menu. The 3D Maps add-in then opens and creates a new tour for you. If you haven't yet created any tours in 3D Maps, the tour is named Tour 1 by default. Within the separate 3D Maps window that opens, you will see a ribbon that consists of a File and a Home tab at the top of the window. Below that, a list of scenes associated with the current tour appears in the Tour Editor pane at the left side of the window. The currently selected Scenes Map data then appears in the middle pane to the right of that. Floating over this area is a Field List pane that contains the data from your data model. At the right side of the window is the Layer pane which lets you edit the currently selected layer in your 3D map. By default, this layer is named Layer 1. The first thing to do when creating a new tour is add the geographic data to map from the Field List to the desired layer in the Layer pane. To do this, click and drag the Geospatial Data field to Map from the field list, and then release it over the Location field within the Data section in the Layer pane. Excel then attempts to identify and map the geospatial data in the layer. The type of geospatial data that Excel thinks this field contains appears in a Geographical Type dropdown to the right of the field in the Location field. If Excel picks the wrong geographical type of data, you can click this drop-down to select the correct type of geographical data the field contains. Excel's mapping confidence of the data field appears as a percentage above and to the right of the location field. To delete a data field from the location field list, click the Delete Field button at the data field's right end within the location field. Also note that you can add multiple geographic data fields to the location field if needed. Next, you can select the visualization type for this layer by clicking the desired visualization type button at the top of the data section in the layer pane. The type of data visualization you choose changes the fields and options available in the layer pane. Also, you can only choose the region visualization type if you have regional geographic data available in the location field, which is why you should add your geographical data to the location field first. Then click and drag the data field or data fields with the values to measure and map from the field list pane into either the height, size, or value field within the layer pane depending on which visualization type you selected. Data fields added to this field within the layer pane are treated in much the same way as fields added to the values section of the pivot table fields or pivot chart fields task pane are. By default, data fields added to the height, size, or value field within the layer pane are added together using the SUM function. You can click the drop-down button to the right of any data field in this list to select a different aggregate function to perform and map if desired. To remove a data field from this list, simply click the Delete Field button at its right end in this field list. Next, if desired and if available for the data you are mapping in the height, size, or value field within the layer pane, you can then click and drag the field by which to categorize the mapped data from the field list into the category field in the layer pane. Note that the Category field in the Layer pane is not available if you selected the Heat Map visualization type. The selected data field then becomes the legend for the mapped data. A legend for the selected field's values also appears over the data map. You can only have one category data field per layer. To remove a data field from the Category field in the Layer pane, simply click the Delete Field button at its right end. Finally, to show the changes to the mapped data values over time, click and drag the field with the temporal, meaning date time values, from the field list into the time field within the layer pane. 
you can only have one time field per layer. The values in this data field then provide the range of date time values shown in the tour's animation. To change the duration of time by which to map the related values within the height, size, or value field within the layer pane, click the drop down to the right of the data field in the time field in the layer pane, and then select the desired unit of time from the drop down that appears. To change whether the data mapped by the related values within the height, size, or value field within the layer pane show for an instant, display cumulatively, or are replaced by new values as the timeline progresses, click the clock icon drop-down button above and to the right of the time field in the layer pane. Then select the desired display of the mapped data over time from the drop-down menu that appears. To remove a data field from the time field in the layer pane, simply click the Delete Field button at its right end. You can then change the view of the 3D Maps Tour by clicking the Tilt Up, Tilt Down, Rotate Left, and Rotate Right buttons in the map. You can also click the Zoom In and Zoom Out buttons to increase or decrease the map magnification. To preview the tour, click the Play button in the timeline at the bottom of the map. If you don't see the timeline, you can click the Timeline button in the Time button group on the Home tab of the ribbon in the 3D Maps window to toggle it on. Clicking this same button also turns it off. When you want to close the tour, you can either click the X button in the upper right corner of the 3D Maps window or click the File tab in the ribbon in the 3D Maps window, and then select the Close command from the drop-down menu that appears. You do not directly save changes to a 3D map, as its changes are saved when you next save the changes to the workbook within which it is contained. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.